Good morning. My name is Kelly Hood and I'm a cybersecurity engineer at Optic Cyber Solutions. I've been using the NIST cybersecurity framework for years, both in my company and working with clients to help them implement it for themselves. For anyone new to the CSF and now that the 2.0 update has been officially released, I wanted to create a quick overview of what the cybersecurity framework is and why you would use it. The NIST CSF was initially released back in 2014 and underwent a minor update in 2018, but just last month in February 2024, NIST released the first major update to the framework, resulting in the CSF 2.0. The CSF was initially created to help secure U.S. critical infrastructure, but was quickly adopted by companies across industries of all sizes. And due to its flexible nature, companies found it really helpful for figuring out what to do without having it prescribed to them of exactly how they needed to implement cybersecurity. So let's dive into what it is. The cybersecurity framework has three primary components, the core, the tiers, and the profiles. The core is a set of cybersecurity outcomes that can be used to understand what is it that I need to do in my cybersecurity program. The implementation tiers are a tool for measuring how well I'm managing those capabilities and therefore my cybersecurity risk, which leads us to the profiles, which are the mechanisms for capturing what it is that I'm doing today and what I think I need to be doing in the future. So let's start out by digging into the core. One of the great things about the core is that it's written in plain language and gives you an idea of what you need to do. The core is written in a hierarchical structure, starting out with the functions at the top, breaking down into categories, and then in subcategories at the lowest level. I think this has been one of the key values of the CSF over the last decade because it allows for you to talk to people at the level they are. For example, you can have a conversation with your board at the function level, talking to them about how you're protecting your systems and responding to incidents. But then when you need to talk to your team, you can get into the weeds at the subcategory level, talking about your backup strategy or the new tool you're going to use for anomaly detection. The core provides flexibility for companies to figure out what works best for them and talk about it at the level that makes sense without dictating exactly what you have to do. This leads to the implementation tiers. When we start asking, how should I do this? Or how do I make sure I know if it's working? And the tiers can be a great tool for measuring what we've done and telling others about our goals. The CSF tiers characterize the rigor of your cybersecurity risk governance and management capabilities and are broken down into four levels from partial to adaptive. So many organizations start out at tier one or partial due to having you know, largely ad hoc processes that may not actually address their cybersecurity risk. But as they mature their capabilities, they move up the scale to tier two, risk informed. And here that indicates that they've made a concerted effort to prioritize capabilities and protect what matters most to their business. Then we can move up to a tier three, repeatable, where we have more of an organization-wide approach implemented consistently to make sure that everybody's meeting expectations and that senior leadership is in the know when it comes to cybersecurity. And many organizations choose to stop here. You don't actually have to go all the way up to tier four, but <laughs> tier four adaptive, you know, it can be expensive, but it is also necessary in some cases. This tier is characterized by meeting the objectives that we've already discussed, as well as looking to the future and optimizing your capabilities to make sure that you're prepared for what's coming before it hits you. So the third component I wanted to discuss today is a profile. And a profile can take many forms. It's simply a way to capture what you're doing as it relates to the CSF core. There are many types of profiles that could be created and you don't have to use any of them at all, but they are very helpful. You know, there's organizational profiles that characterize what a specific company, such as yourself, might be doing. And there are community profiles characterizing specific outcomes or requirements based on specific industries, technologies, or threat types. Within the organizational profile category, you can have either a current profile defining what your company is currently doing today, or a target profile capturing what you think you should be doing in the future. And they're also flexible in form. So it's really you do what makes sense for you. I've seen profiles that are bullets, that are paragraphs, even images like Harvey Balls. You know, do what works for your company and what's going to help you understand what you're doing and capture what you need to do in the future. To wrap things up, the CSF 2.0 is a great tool, whether you're just starting your cybersecurity journey or looking to enhance existing cybersecurity practices. Its structured yet flexible approach provides a roadmap for helping to figure out what do I need to do when it comes to cybersecurity. The CSF enables easier conversations at every level of an organization, from strategic discussions with your board to technical conversations with your IT and security teams. As you navigate the core, the tiers, and the profiles, remember that the goal is to manage your cybersecurity risks and build resilience against evolving threats. 
Let the CSF 2.0 guide your efforts to govern, identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover, ensuring a secure future for your organization. Additionally, check out the video notes below or the links here on the screen for some resources if you're just starting out with a NIST cybersecurity framework. My name is Kelly Hood, and please feel free to reach out with any questions or other concepts you'd like me to break down. Thanks for watching. Cyber Solutions strives to help organizations identify and address their blind spots through our assessment, implementation, and advising services. For more information about Optic Cyber Solutions and how we can help you integrate the CSF update or conduct a CSF gap assessment, reach out at info at or check out our website, OpticCyber.com.